guess what? We're at an airport and there's a plane. That's the Aranka Chief. That's the one I get to learn to fly in. And today is my first flight instruction. I might actually touch the control yoke one time. We'll see. Should be a lot of fun though. So uh, this is gonna be a fun ride, folks. Let me get over here. You can see the plane a little better. It's December and I'm not dressed super warm because it's like 30 degrees right now. So it won't be too bad out there flying. And I'm really looking forward to it for my first flight. Gonna learn a bit, bit and uh, if my audio setup works right, it's my trial run. You'll get to hear everything we say in the cockpit. So it should be a lot of fun. Let's get the show on the road. All right, it is about flight time, folks. Uh, remember, if you like this journey we're on with my CFI Jake, Jake CFI, um, follow the channel. Subscribe down there on the bottom and click the bell so you get reminders. Thanks for subscribing. And if you like this journey and want to see us uh, do more and fun stuff, um, there's also a link down in the description to my GoFundMe account where you can help fund some of the extra costs that we're going to encounter on this journey to get to the end and become a real pilot. And then we can take you on all kind of fun adventures. So we're getting ready to uh, do things that you can see in the background. I think you can see there we're warming the plane up because, hey, you know, it's cold. Anyway, um, we just now checked on our phones. I found a weather app and Jake has another place to check it. We checked the weather and we've got about four miles visibility. So the little code on my app said M vfr which is marginal video yeah. flight rules video <laughs> you can tell i'm a video yeah, visual flight rules and so it was marginal because it's only about a four mile visibility once it hits five miles it'll go to good vfr it's a little bit hazy from some morning fog but it'll be burned off before we get flying the other thing jake checked um and what's the website jake uh before we want to before we fly we always want to check uh obviously weather as philip said so it's clear skies here um, as you said we're a little bit uh, morning haze here at four miles visibility although I looking out here I think it's we got not too probably, bad but... I think we probably got 10 it's just uh, needs to have the new report come out the other thing we always want to check is uh, temporary flight restrictions TFRs so I go to the uh, FAA that's Federal Aviation Administration website and I check uh, make sure we have no uh, restrictions to flying uh, in our area so I checked for Wisconsin we got none today so we're uh, free we're to fly around free the area. to go not make trouble make some fun so exactly all right so cool. the game plan for today uh, you can see the airplane behind us so uh, we're gonna do a pre-flight inspection we might not get that on camera uh, today since we both have to do it and we don't have anyone else here to uh, film us no doing it. no but uh, next time we'll get that on camera uh, we're gonna pull the airplane out and uh, He's going to give Philip his first flight. So we're going to go through all the steps to get the airplane ready, get it started up. We're going to taxi out to the runway. We're going to take off, just do some basic uh, turns, climbs, descents. Uh, we may do a little bit of slow flight to get ready for a landing. We'll come back here and we'll uh, land and that'll be about the first flight. Sweet. Sounds like a lot of fun. Let's get this show on the road and uh, get the pre-flighting. That's absolutely. All right, folks, uh, so this is the inside of the Chief. Um, it's where we'll sit when we're flying. We'll uh, get a camera set up in here for when we're, uh, when we're actually doing the flying. Um, we got our uh, control yokes here, left and right, forward and backward. So this controls aileron, right and left, and elevator up and down. We got our throttle control here to control the speed of the engine. We got our... Uh, fuel shutoff valve, primer, ignition key. Over here we got uh, some emergency checklists which we'll go through in a future flight. And uh, on the floor there you can see we got rudder pedals. So uh, Philip is used to flying RC where you got uh, two sticks and rudder on one of the sticks. In this airplane we have uh, a yoke which controls elevator and aileron so pitch and roll and we got the pedals on the floor to control yaw. So over here also we have our normal checklist. Uh, we're going to be doing a pre-flight uh, inspection here. Uh, hopefully we get that on video in a future uh, future installment but for today uh, we don't have a third person to film us doing it. 
So that's a quick tour of the inside of the chief. There's not much to it. On the instrument panel, we got uh, this is called a turn and bank indicator. Helps us uh, coordinate our turns. We have uh, oil temperature, altimeter, tachometer to tell us the speed of the engine, air speed indicator, and uh, over here we got uh, oil pressure. So all the basics. And all not much else. All the required basics, not much else. Nothing to distract from the basic uh, elemental aspects of learning to fly. Cool. So that's uh, we'll tour the inside and uh, we'll uh, bring you along on the journey as we fly the airplane today. Reply once you've ensured it's on both is contact. 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 Uh, so we were the departure briefing. So leather, that the mnemonic is warts. Okay. Leather was great. Abnormal was an emergency plan. So if you're in sock, uh, looks like straight across the runway. Straight across the runway, we like to fly a base leg into the wind. So I think we're going to be using runway one three today. So we're going, we're going that way. Okay. So if we lose an engine, we'll put it into one of those fields on the other side of Union Road. Okay. okay. Uh, up to about 500 feet. 500 to 1,000 feet, we can turn maximum 90 degrees left to right, and above 1,000 feet, we can try to make it back to the runway. Taxi plan, we're going to go around the hangar, we're going to go up there, do a run up, we're going to back taxi down to runway 13. And we are going to take off, and we're going to fly out into our practice area, which is out by uh, Belleville here. Okay. And special considerations, this is our first flight together. Um, I haven't flown this airplane in a couple of weeks, so uh, we're going to sh just going to be taking things slow, making sure we get everything done. Okay. Uh, see the standard instrument departure, which of course we're not doing in this airplane. So the departure briefing is complete. All right, uh, passenger briefing is done. Seatbelts, yep. I'm in, you're in. Yep. Doors closed and latched. Yep. Parking brake is set. Yep. Fuel selector is on. Is yep. it pushed in, correct? Yep. Radio, we don't have a radio on right now. Not today. Okay, starting, we've done that, correct? Yep. And so, we can move on. After start, oil pressure, we don't have a light, but we're sitting is that about right for pressure? Yep, yeah, uh, 60 is right about where it should be. Time? Do we need to worry about? I started on my watch already. Oh, okay. Uh, radio is not to worry about. Yeah, um, nothing today. Before takeoff, so we need to get out and do the rest of the stuff. Yep. At that point, right? Yep. I usually sure stick, just stick that uh, okay. over there. Alright, so we can release the brakes. So you reach underneath, squeeze, pull, uh, uh, push all the way. Now when we're going to taxi, we want to uh, do a good little bit. So we're headed in the wind right now, so that means we want the yoke all the way back. Alright, here we go. Gonna unlock the throttle. I've locked it earlier. I'm going to give it right water. And it wants to keep turning once it starts turning so you get an opposite letter to straighten right. it out. Okay. I'm going to taxi us out from between the hangers. Once we get out and move into the open, I'll have you taxi. Okay. Do I need to test the brakes to see how they work? Yeah, give, them, give, give, give them a quick test. 
that pull the right left. Yeah, you did a little bit more of the left one than the right one, so yeah. that's something to keep in mind. Is that normal? Uh, it just means you need to press a little harder on the right one next time to get them equally. So, let me show you the wrong little brakes, please. Alright, that looks better. Yeah, and I'm going to set the parking brake again. Alright, so we can, we're can headed in the wind. Uh, we'll show you the runway so we can do our uh, before we take off check. So, the controls, we want to go box the controls. So, all the way to the right, check the rounds are uh, correct. So, leaving it all the way to the right, we go all the way back, look back at the elevator, make sure that's up. All the way to the left, holding it all the way back. Check the airlines, and holding it all the way back, you go all the way forward. We move the letter a bit, and you can see by the shadow on my side that it's moving. So, we want to hit all four corners of that control box. That's why we call it boxing the controls. Okay? Instruments. So, at Brooklyn here, it's easy to remember we're at a thousand feet above sea level. So, pressure is way higher than the last time I threw this. So, 1,000, 0, and um, 100 hands, we're right at 1,000. So when we say we're at 500, we're actually seeing 1,500 there. Correct. Okay. Gas is on here and off for the ox tank, which we're not going to use today. We pull up there. Yep. Attitude trim. So, that's up here. So, that's the trim tab. Yep. So, uh, when it's by the nose, the thing that says nose, that's just about neutral. Radios, don't worry about that. Yep. Run up. Uh, so, brake is set. So, I'm going to hold the uh, yoke all the way back. We're going to run it up to 1600 RPM. There's 1600. I'm going to give a little bit of friction on the throttle knot. And uh, I'm going to test the magneto. So, left mag. Should slow down just a little bit. Just a little bit. Back to both, you see it change about this one was very subtle. Yeah, just about 25 RPM is all you got. Check the white one. It's about the same. Back to both. And uh, over here is our carburetor heat. So when we're at a low power setting in the flight, we'll turn this on. So on, you can see that drops a little bit. Up the RPM, correct. Yep. Back off. Our oil pressure is 60, so that's normal. Our oil temperature is about 135, and that's coming up slowly, so that's good. And we can travel back. Okay? All right. Run up is complete. Ready? Right, so, a little bit about this checklist. Um, so, this is designed to, down to the line here, it was designed to be done on the ramp or before you taxi out to the runway. Below the line, we do at the runway. Okay, so when we do the before takeoff check, we'll talk about before takeoff check above the line, before takeoff check below the line. So when we're just about ready to line up on the runway, that's when we'll do before takeoff below the line, which is heading, altitude, lights, and time. Okay. Uh, you can put your right hand on the throttle, left hand on the yoke, feet on the ready cover. Come back, right? I'm going to release the brake, all the way back on the yoke, get a little bit of power, gently. A little bit more. There you go. Once you start moving, you can throttle back a bit. Throttle back. There we go. We're going downhill here. There you go. And the right rudder just tacks you down the runway. Keep it going straight. There you go. Once you can see the light off the left, so you know you're not going to hit it, then you can go left. So a little further. Okay, you're not going to hit that now, so left. And hold it to and pull right, right brake. Throttle back. That's okay. And then left rudder straighten out. Okay. And then we can stop brakes. There you go. All right. So let's do it before take off the lower line. So heading would be west. One three, right? Yeah, so we're going to take off on a one three heading after heading after takeoff is going to be west. We're going to head out toward the Belleville, okay? 
and uh, oh, let's put that altitude. Altitude, we're going to go up to 3,000 feet. Okay. Light set, and time is already running. Okay. So I'll do the first takeoff, but I have you on the controls with me. So I'll keep, keep your left, keep your left hand on the yoke, keep your uh, feet on the pedals, slide them down so the heels are on the floor, and uh, the radio is. Uh, don't have the radio today. I need to remember to bring that next time. But uh, I would say quick uh, one traffic. Aranka eight five nine one seven departing runway one three Brooklyn Suburb. Okay. So I'm going to slowly. Now this engine, the A sixty five, does not have an accelerator pump on the carburetor, which means if you jam the throttle in too roughly, it will stumble. Okay. So I'm going to gently bring the power up. To about 1500 RPM, and then I'm going to go full. Okay? Full power. I'm going to start out with the uh, fuel over the oak, push down to get the nose down, get the tail off the ground. We'll do a right aileron for the crosswind. Okay? Tails up. I'm keeping it straight with my feet. Feel how I'm dancing. Punching job on the rudder. So always keep your feet moving, never let them stop. Okay? We got flying speed. I'm going to ease back. We're off the ground. The takeoff is about 60. Yes, yeah. Okay. We have enough altitude that if we lost our engine, we could go into the field across Union Road now. Okay. And now we want to wait until we have about three or 400 feet of altitude before we make any uh, significant turns. And as I'm climbing, I'm holding the throttle all the way in because it has a tendency to creep out. Clear on the right, so I'm going to turn right to a west heading. So I go right on the yoke, and you, you can feel I press the right rudder pedal. I want to keep that bar in the center. So are we at 1,600 or 600 feet now? Yeah, uh, yeah, 600 feet above ground. So 1,600. We usually talk about altitude and altitude above sea level. So we're 1,700 feet above sea level, which means we're 700 feet above the ground. So we're headed west. So off to our right side, you can see the airport there. And uh, ahead of us, uh, if you look, I believe it's going to be a little bit left of the nose there, is uh, the town of Belleville. So when we go up to practice, our practice area runs roughly between the town of uh, Brooklyn, which is straight behind us, the town of Belleville ahead on our left, and uh, up to his Lake Levine, which is a long, skinny lake for water skiing, which is up to our northwest. Okay. So that's our area. Okay. So you have control of the airplane. Put right hand on the throttle so that you can. Uh, we're climbing a little, a little fast. We should be climbing about 60. So pull the nose up a little bit. Let speed boot off about 60. A little bit of nose up trim to help you there. And a little bit more right rudder to keep that ball in the center. So right foot, but keep the wings level with the yoke. Okay? So a little bit more right rudder. No, not right yoke, right rudder. Right foot, right foot, press your right foot. Right foot, right foot. More. You're going to have to press it a lot more to get any kind of response. There you are. Now you feel a response. Oh, okay. So you have, to, you have to actually move it a bit to get a response. More right rudder. you got to just hold. The whole time you're climbing, just hold that right rudder. Oh, that's right. The key factor. Yep. That's exactly right. Okay. So just hold that right rudder. Keep that ball in the center. More right rudder. you got to hold it. It doesn't look like it's in the center from here where I'm at. That's why I'm... There you go. Yeah, now it is. That's about right. Yep. That's why I said. A little more. Yep. Just hold that. Now you're letting it go left again. Right rudder. you got to hold that right rudder all the time while you're climbing. So if the ball is moving right, I push right. Correct. So that's what they mean, stepping on the ball. Yep. We're still looking for 60, right? Yep. So nose up a little bit more until you get to 60. More right rudder. A little bit of left rudder right on the level of the wings. So if you're not sure if you're level, you can look out at the wings. Left wing, look out at the right wing. If they're the same distance above the horizon, you're level, which you're not right now. So what? There you go. And in general, if you move the uh, 
yoke to the right, you put, press your right foot at the same time. And if you move it to the left, you press your left foot at the same time. There you go, that's more like it. So, you got to be a little bit quicker about adding that rudder. Your, your rudder is lagging behind your airline input. Uh, see how Boom! Okay, so, I love the airplane for a second. So, uh, hold on to the controls. So I'm going to do a couple of right and left turns. So when I turn right, feel that. I'm feel what I'm doing on the rudders. Feel that with your feet. See how the ball stays nicely in the center. Coordinated turn. Yeah, that's a coordinated turn. See how that works? Okay. You try that a couple times. You don't be able to play it. Okay, you need to be quicker on the rudder. You're, you're adding the airline way before the rudder. You need to add the rudder at the same time. All right, let me get straight and level. Yeah. Well, there you go. Okay. No, I shouldn't be looking at the ball so much. No, I know look, that. look out front. Okay, you need a lot more rudder. Way more rudder in general. Okay, but... Okay. No, I'm sorry. You're, 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 the problem is when you go right on the airline, you're going left on the rudder, which is the exact opposite of what you right. want to do. Right. Okay. So feel what I do again, okay? Hold on to the controls. That's your, and we're going to level off now. I set the power for cruise, okay? So I'm going to make a turn to the right. I'm going to turn right to north until I'm headed towards Madison, okay? Okay. See yeah, how I do that? I think feeling those brakes on the bottom of my feet are confusing me. Feel those brakes and I think I'm pushing and I'm not. Yeah, you have to push with your toes on the rudders. Okay? Then I'm going to turn back to the left. Feel how I go to the left rudder. When I roll out, right rudder. Okay, I'm getting a little bit high, so I'm going to nose down a little bit, get back down to uh, 2,000 feet here. That. Roll nose down a little bit. Okay, so when you're ready, you're at the airplane, you try that. Make a right. Whoop. Hey, I'm getting level first. Yep. Okay, so right. So right turn, there you go. A little bit of, yeah, there we go. That's steep enough. That's uh, so a little bit, yeah. Uh, it's trying to straighten out. I probably should have turned yeah. some more, right? Okay, just try to be more consistent. You're going all over the place. Yeah, I'm wobbling. Okay. My head is there for a minute. Yeah, so let's, let's get lined up on north. So a little bit more return. There you go. That's good. Okay. Okay. Just, just keep turning until you get to north, okay? Are we north now? Yeah. So when you look out, see how see how all the lines between the fields go yeah. parallel each other? So those go exactly north, south, and east, west. So if I tell you to turn to north, turn to line up with the lines between the fields. Okay. So let's make a left turn. So when you make a turn, look under the ring, make sure there's no airplanes out there. Right, now. Aileron and rudder. Yeah. A little, a little bit, bit of elevator, right? Yeah. And you're using too much rudder. Okay. Too much rudder? Too much rudder. One. And then use left, so roll out, we'll do a right rudder, feel, that, feel how that works. I helped you with the rudder a little bit there, but... Okay, so the problem is, now you're, you're trying to drive it like a car. Which yeah. doesn't, this doesn't work. <laughs> okay, so let's try a different way. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so let's try a different way. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so let's try a different way. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so let's try a different way. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so let's try a different way. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so let's try a different way. Okay, so rudder. And aileron. There you go. Now, now, yeah, there you go. That's looking good. You're losing a little bit of altitude, so a little bit more back pressure. Now left. Now leave this rudder. There you go. That's what you want to do. Yeah, actually looks sound good. Yeah. That's, that's how you want to do it, okay? It's a matter of getting the feel for it. So you're still losing altitude, so you want to climb back up to 3,000 feet, okay? So if you're, if you're losing altitude, pull back. When you, when you see something that's not the way it should be, you got to do something about it. Don't just sit right. there. Okay? So, 
Get back up to 2,000 feet. Elevator. Now that you're air on or running a good, you just pull a little bit back, back too much and a little bit too early. And there you go. And another thing, Philip, yes. just use one hand on the oak, okay? Just, just, hold, just, just hold it like this. It's okay. not, again, it's not a car. Okay. Okay, feel how you, you, yeah, I'm trying to stay level. You, but, you, but you're swinging sideways, side to side. When you, when you try to do level, you do way too much air around and not enough rudder, okay? Okay. It always has to be coordinated, always, always, always. So see how you, oops, stop. That was bad, okay? So, don't move your hands without moving your feet. Gotcha. Anytime you move your hands, move your feet, okay? So now let's try, head me over to his bell roll. Oh, right? Yep. Oh, there you go. If you're going to put this hand anywhere, put it on the throttle. There you go. He's eating out to him, so... Something to think about? There you go, that's good. So when you land your turn, you don't really need to add any back pressure until you get to about 30 degrees a turn, okay? Okay, I'll put it in too early. 30 degrees a bank, okay? So... I, I have the time for a second. I'm going to get us back down on 3,000. You keep your hands on the controls for what I'm doing. I like that when I say you have the airplane, you let go, that's good. However, uh, I need to feel what you're doing. Uh, uh, in the first few lessons, you need to feel what I'm doing. So that's why I tell you, keep your hands on the controls, okay? So I'm going to do a turn to the left, and I'm going to tell you when I start adding the back pressure, okay? So go on the left. I'm going to start turning. I haven't added back pressure yet. I'm adding a little, but not back pressure. Now I'm going to start adding a just a hair of back pressure, not much. Basically about halfway through 90 degrees. Yep. Okay, and I'm going to turn around to east here. I'm going to roll out, rudder. Like you've done it before. Yep. So when you roll into a turn, the other, the other thing to look at, so look out over the nose. You see that kind of white spot out ahead of us? Yeah. Just, just below the horizon. Looks like it might be a pond or something. So when I roll into a turn, I like the nose to pivot around that, okay? So I'm going to make a turn to the right again. Which white spot are you talking about now? The one just below the horizon, straight ahead of us. Kind of a light colored spot. It might be a... a pond or a snow covered field or something. Okay. So I want the nose to pull it around that point when I roll in, okay? So I'm going to roll in, see how the nose kind of pivots, and then only when you get the bank in does it start turning. Oh, okay, I get what you're saying. You said pivot, I'm thinking this, but it's this. Yeah, it's roll. Pivot and roll. So find a spot out there yeah. and get it below the bank and then... Right, and then when I, when I stop turning, I'm going to line up on that building in the middle of that right, road. Right, that's the uh, side and road. I left rudder so the nose pivots around that point. Gotcha. So, I'm going to roll in the left. Nose, see that building just on this side of the building that's kind of light, light colored? Left, nose pivots around that point. Now I add some back pressure, okay? Now I'm going to go back to the right. Nose pivots. Back to the right. Wings level. Nose pivots. And I've lost a little bit of altitude myself. Are we below where we should be? Oh, it's being 60, okay. I'm going to have the I'm, pressure gauge for fun. Um, uh, eh, it's just a little on the low side, but when the engine is running, it sucks oil up into it, so not a... We still got, minimum is 30, we still have 45, so we're good. And we had plenty of oil in the tank. So, it was 2,000 feet again. So I'm going to line it up on, uh, on the building in Belleville for you. Okay, you have the airplane. Okay. So try to the turn and just make the nose pivot around that. See how the nose swings to the opposite side? No. Yeah. I didn't even do anything yet. It just... Yeah. Okay, so... Water. You need, you need to use more water. There you go. So 180? Yeah. No, just go back to left now. Water. Left water. That left bank. And oh, it came out of the turn, turn back to his elbow. Okay? And low level, right water. Okay, so let's try something. Okay. 
Uh, let's pick another point. Um, because Bell Hill is getting a little too close. So, I'm going to make a left turn here out of the other plane. Yeah, see, the, the problem is you're trying to drive it like a car because you've been driving cars all your life and it doesn't drive like a car. When you try to drive like a car, the airplane just goes sideways and doesn't do anything that you want it to do. Okay? So I'm going to line the nose up on, you see, not, uh, so you see Lake Kigansa there? Yep. And you see that kind of white area just yep. to the right of Lake Kigansa? Yep. So I'm going to line the nose up on that white area. Okay. And then I'm just going to go left and right, I'm just going to pivot the nose, okay? So what you do not want to happen is if I just do, air, uh, uh, just do airline, you see how the nose goes the opposite yep. direction? That's not what you want, okay? So when I add airline, I add rudder at the same time or maybe it's slightly in advance. So when I go left, nose pivots. When I go right, right rudder. I'm just going to just go left and right, left and right, left and right. I'm just to pivot the nose right on, see I'm keeping the nose right on that point, just pivoting. Just like that. Okay, you try that. You, oh, it's going to be fun. Yeah, so right and right up. Now, you see how, see how you, did, you, did, you did all along without moving your feet. Yeah. Never do that. Okay, always move your feet. Okay. Okay, which way first? Uh, let's go left first, okay? There you go. I'm not pivoting quite as much as you, but I'm keeping the nose straight on it. Yeah, uh, not really. See, oh, I was for a minute. Yeah, see, see how we added all that aileron and you didn't add rudder and the nose swung the other way? No. So, uh, we try it again? Yeah. Now that we're sort of level? Yeah. Still holding 3,000. Yeah. So. yeah. Well, I'm sorry. That's right, rudder, 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 rudder. Okay. Help. Well, get some um, help. Well, Alright, well, I'm finding my spot. Yeah, well, oh. well, let it first, then it out. That's a little better. Yeah, it's like the nose just goes where it's supposed to then. Yep, exactly. There you go, that's what you want. Feeling good now. I'm getting... In the RC world, I don't have to worry about rudder as much because it's... Oop, I went too, went too fast with the aileron that time. Yep, exactly. At least I knew, right? Yep. Alright, I'm messed up now, so let me get my rudder back in place. And if you're not sure, look down at the ball, get the ball in the center, shut on the ball. Uh, a little yep. under 3,000. Yeah, I was going to have to pull the nose back up a little bit. Well, right, let's actually, let's make a right turn back around, head back towards the airport. We're a little bit farther east than I'd like to be, so I'm going to right turn, just keep it going all the way around. That's, you don't need to go any steeper than that. That's plenty steep. Can you tell me when to pull out? Yeah, you can go all the way back around the west. I'm like, I still haven't put all these landmarks in my head yet. I know they'll get familiar with time. Yeah, they will. So you see the airport right there? Oh, right there. Yeah, okay. right yeah. So straighten out here? Yeah, you can, you can head for Belleville again. You see that sort of light colored building in Belleville? No. There you Straight go. ahead. Yeah. So just, just do some rows like that back and forth again. That pilot friend of mine was talking on RC Podcast about using your rudder to turn, and it's like, yeah. that's counterintuitive to what we do. Yeah. Now I know what he's saying. And you should be doing this on an RC airplane too, it'll fly a lot better if you do. Hey, that's my problem. There you go. That's, that's feeling really good. We're doing, yeah, we're doing great. Right. I got to put that, that light bulb has to go on in my head with the rudder. Yeah, exactly. It took me a long time in the RC world to figure the rudder thing out. A little bit more light rudder. Right there. there you go. Yeah, now you're getting it. Perfect. All right, now let's see if I can fly along that road right there and stay straight and level. That sounds good. Oh, 
went with the aileron first. Well, I can't see the road, but... Well, I need to pick a point out on the horizon and fly to it, right? Exactly. That's why I pointed out that building in Belleville there. And straight ahead? Yep. Still holding about 3,000, so that's good. Well, you, you, you do the uh, aileron in advance of rudder there. Yeah, there you go. I feel like I'm stopping on the right rudder a little bit more than... That's the whole key factor thing, right? A little bit, yep. So now, just just fly around a bit. I'm just going to sit here unless you get acquainted with the airplane now that you have some of the basics. Alright, so I'm going to go right. Do a little square. Yep. Yeah, that's right. You always want to look under the wing before you do a turn. So, there you go. I pass that water tower. Oh, you can go on and fly over town, do we? Oh! It doesn't hurt anymore at 3,000 feet, so it doesn't really matter. As long as we're above 1,000 feet above the ground, it doesn't matter if we fly over a city. That's Madison straight ahead? That's Madison straight ahead, yep. This is so weird. The foot is so important that I never knew it. Yep, see how you're, yep. you're, you're going around I can feel it now. Yep. I'm starting to understand this. Yeah, there you go. Uh, we're a little high still. Okay, let's make a left turn again. Left turn? Yeah. There you go. Looking there. Pull up a little bit. Right now, oh, let's finish the 180, shall we? Sounds good. Right the wing is right better as you do. Look at that, eh? Like yeah. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Yeah, you get me. Well, I screwed that up after I came out, but... Yeah, I think what I'm finding is I'm not feeling I'm level, and I'm constantly trying to level with my yeah. hands and not my feet. Right, exactly. I think that's my problem. If, if you feel like you're not level, look out and check both wing tips. So oh, pretty good right now, right? Pretty good right now, yeah. Okay, where should we go now? Oh, well, let's just, uh, just wander around a bit. We're right over the airport, so let's just, you know, just keep doing some left and right turns. Just get All right, let's go left. Okay. There you go. It's cheap enough for you have to even add a little bit of outward air on to keep from... There you go. Level out right rudder. Yeah, there you go. Nice. And as you level out, push the nose down just a little bit. There you go. Now we're at 3,100? Yeah. That's still all right, sir. Yeah, that's good. Pretty good. I, ideally, you want to maintain exactly 3,000, but since you're, you're starting out... You know. Our airspeed okay at 85? Airspeed will be what it will be. Air, you know, we set cruise power and... Yeah, you are climbing a little bit, so... Okay. All right, do another left turn? Oh, uh, yeah, if you like. Oh, yeah, yeah, there you go. A little bit excessive on the rudder. That's a first. Yeah. <laughs> but I, yeah. It's not normal for me, huh? Yeah, but, uh, you know, if you just... If you, if, if. Oh, well. So, no, you see, you feel how the nose is going left and right again? So that means you were not leading with the rudder. Okay, so let's go right. Yeah. Kind of wait until you feel the plane start to move and then yep. do the rudder. Woo! You lost a little bit of yeah, it is. And make, you, make your turn less steep. This is a this is about as much bank angle as you want to do here. Okay. okay. You're not you're not yanking and banking like it's a 3D airplane. You're just very gentle turns in a full scale. All right. I think we're flying over the Madison International Raceway. Is that what's down there below? Us? Ah, it would, it would be right it's like a racetrack. So it would be right around here somewhere. Let's make, right. a, so, let's make a right turn. We're kind of out to the east of our practice area here. That's about all the bank we need, right? Yeah, that's, that's as much bank as you need. There you go. That's... Until we set tracks and steep turn, this is about as steep as uh, steeper bank as I want to see you do. Okay, right here. 
Okay, I see the airport. Yeah. About two o'clock. Yeah, so head, head up to the airport. And you can pull the throttle back to about uh, 1,600 RPM. Pull, pull it back a little more. Pull. There you go. A little more. There you go. And we can go down to about 2,000 feet. Might have to hold the nose up just a touch just to not go too fast. There you go. And a little bit more to the right, we can head for the airport. Kind of put the runway on your left. There you go. Yeah, so, so gas, undercarriage, mixture, power. So when we're beam the, the end of the runway, so when the runway is straight off our side, now, when we're on downwind, I like to put the, run the center line of the runway about halfway up the wing strut to judge my distance. And now you see how I'm heading in towards the runway to compensate for the wind. Now, now I'm the beam the end of the runway, so I'm going to pull the throttle back smoothly. As the throttle comes back, the nose wants to drop, so I have to uh, pull back on the yoke to keep it up. Now I'm going to trim those up almost all the way, and we're going to approach it about uh, 60 to 65 miles an hour. Okay. And as we slow down, the wind has more of an effect on us, so I have to turn in even more to compensate for it. Make sense? Okay, so now, the, uh, we're roughly on the diagonal from the end of the runway, which you can't quite see because of the trees. So I'm going to turn base leg into the wind. I may have to add a little bit of power because we're coming into the wind so much. Get back up on our intended glide path here. That's looking a little better now. Keeping 60 to 65 miles an hour. Well, I'm still using my rudders to keep it coordinated. I can feel them moving down there. Yeah. And now that we're getting down close to the ground, we have some more uh, air currents. A little bit of power again. So now I'm coming in towards the center line of the runway, so I'm going to start making a nice shallow left turn to help us line up. And now when we come in to land, once we're aligned with the runway, put your eyes on the near end of the runway and fix it in the place on the windshield and just try to keep it in the same place in the windshield. If it starts moving up, or low. If it starts moving down, or high. See how that end of the runway is staying just about the same place in the windshield? Yeah. So it's coming down nice and stable. When you get just above the ground, look at the end of the runway, and then just uh, hold the airplane off the ground as long as you can. Put the, end of the, put the cowling on the end of the runway. Now, once you're on the ground, pin that yoke all the way back, dancing on the rudders, punch and jab. Whenever you need to make a correction, just Make a correction, take it out right away because it's uh, any movement will tend to self-amplify uh, because the landing gear is ahead of the center of gravity. So uh, any turn, the landing gear grips the ground and it wants to turn you even more. I got a taxi in here, so I'm going to be careful. There's one more right on our left, not to hit that. And it's all clear. Now our wind is coming from slightly behind us, so I'm actually going to go forward on the yoke. So when you're going towards the wind, you want to... Um, well, with the wind at your back, you want it down. Down, yeah. So the, the saying... So it'll push the tail. Right. The, the, the saying is climb towards or dive away. So off the runway here, so let's stop for a second and do our after landing check. So trim is reset, curve heats off, after landing check. Operator heat off, trim set to neutral. Okay. So we're going to attach to the hangar now. I had the brakes on. <laughs> Just to make sure I knew how to do them. Yeah, exactly. I'll do a sharp turn here just so you can see. So, right brake. There you go. That's what I wanted earlier. Yeah, I was pushing, trying to push with my heel and I wasn't making contact. Yeah. I just moved out with the brakes. I just moved my feet down a little bit. Now, you're going to have to figure out how, how to 
get down the brakes with your heel because when you're landing you have to have your toes on the rudder pedals and still be able to hit the brakes. I need to put the seat up a tiny bit more. For short people. Okay, so we're going to just come in front of the hangar. I'm going to turn a little bit and stop and we can uh, call this a morning. All right, we are back on the ground and yep. uh, so how'd the, how'd it go up there today? Oh, well, we had a good flight uh, for your first your uh, first lesson. Uh, so we uh, we took off, we went up, we practiced some turns, uh, got to used to using the rudder, a little bit different than uh, what you're used to in an RSC. I had a little trouble there for a while. We were yep. like all over the sky. He said rudder, rudder, and it's like, and I keep doing this. And yeah, it's not like driving a car. After what about five ten minutes, I started figuring out the drive yep. with my feet and not my hands so it's a whole new whole new yep. way of thinking for me for so sure. um i did start getting better at it and still every now and then i would have a brain fart and relapse but yep. uh overall, yeah I mean, it's, it's a hard habit to break when you've been driving all your life and it's like you see a thing that looks like the steering wheel and you want to treat it like a steering wheel but it's not a steering wheel uh, you have to steer the airplane with your hands and your feet Yep, whenever you put your, when you, to make a turn, you do rudder first and then catch up with the ailerons, right? And that depends somewhat on the airplane. I mean, ideally, when, although it may have felt like you were doing rudder first, you were actually doing them at the same time when you were doing it right. Yeah, I Mentally was, up here, I was doing rudder first. Exactly, and that's, that's part of what we get into when, when people say lead with the rudder. What they're getting at is it feels in your mind like you're leading with the rudder, but if you actually watch the control movement, you're doing them exactly at the same time, which is what you should do. Sometime I kept the ball right in the middle. Yep, yep. By the end of the flight, you're doing a pretty good job. Okay, anything else that needs to be discussed here as far as... Well, uh, obviously this was our first flight, so we introduced a lot of concepts. So uh, we introduced the concept of the, uh, what a profile, a checklist, uh, and a procedure is. So a procedure is what we do in the airplane. That would be like taking off, landing, uh, uh, setting up to land. Um, so or uh, doing our before takeoff uh, checks. So uh, the procedure is what we do. And usually we learn how to do that, all the items we need to do, we do it. Uh, after we do the procedure, then we go to our checklist to make sure that all of that has been done correctly. We run through our checklist and we check that all those items have been done. The, uh, the profiles, which are in the back of your syllabus, and uh, perhaps you can throw up profiles for takeoff and landing here so folks can see those so you have the PDF yep, for that. I, I can get that. And uh, that strings together the, the uh, procedures and the checklists into a sequence that we can use in the airplane. So uh, as we went through the flight I was emphasizing uh, doing, showing you the procedures and then I would have you pull out the checklist and run the checklist. And uh, on your own time you might go and study those profiles just so you make sure you know how to uh, string those checklists and those procedures together. We'll get on that. I have yep. all the files and I have all the books, so it should be fairly easy to yep. do. Yeah, and you're doing a good job. You're doing a great job with the checklist, and also we did a little bit of transfer of control. So when I say I have the airplane, you let go, and uh, that's <laughs> I'm good. I'm scared. I don't want to mess anything up. Well, that's. I mean, we always want to make sure we know who's flying the airplane. So that's why uh, when we transfer control of the airplane. Um, uh, if I'm taking from you, I say, I have the aircraft, or uh, if I'm giving it to you, I would say, you have the aircraft, and then uh, we want to get to the point eventually where you, uh, where we keep that back, and so I say, you have the aircraft, you say, I have the aircraft, and I say, I have the aircraft, you can take your hands off the controls, unless I say otherwise, and say, you have the aircraft. So, I'll remember that for next time. Yep. So you, do, you were doing a great job with that for your first lesson, and that's just something we'll continue to focus on as cool. we move forward. So there's hope for me. Absolutely. You're doing, doing, a, doing a great job. And, uh, now I've got to learn the landmarks. You're like, oh, there's Belleville, there's Oregon. It's yep. like, I see Madison. <laughs> yep. I gotta, well, Madison's a good landmark to orient you uh, in general, but then, of course, the little towns around. Uh, the yeah, it's just a matter of flying here. that pattern a few times and learning where all the marks are, and that'll, that'll yep. help me out a whole lot. Exactly, day, so. exactly. So, a great flight. Uh, good to see you this morning, Philip. And, hey, it was uh, a lot of fun. Great. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Remember, down there is a subscribe button. Hit the button and ring the bell, and then you'll get informed every time I upload a new video. 
Um, there will be lots of flight lessons. We're talking, you know, about 30 to 50 hours airtime before this is over. So, yep. so there'll be a lot of those fun ones coming, plus a boatload of ground school. They may not be quite as sexy as flying, but you're going to get to see what this whole thing looks like from my point of view and from Jake. So remember to subscribe down there. And if you really like the journey and want to see us do even better and more, leave some money down there on my GoFundMe and help me uh, get the extra funds I need to really take this up to another level. So uh, thanks for watching, everybody, and we will see you on the next episode.